Schooled here, head of school at Bethany School. It's a Friday afternoon and it's quiet on campus. We've just had three days of orientation with our students. And I know that many of you who have children who are in the kindergarten, first or second grade, are eager to see what this building looks like. And perhaps others of you are also eager to see this building. And especially because of the issues that we have with COVID right now, I wanna make sure that all of you have a chance to at least see the inside of this building, what we were doing to make sure to keep this building nice and safe for all of our children. Um, I'm gonna also make sure that our homeroom teachers are taking really good care of you and keeping you informed about what your child's classroom looks like. So here we go, I'm going to open up the front door and we're gonna walk in and take a look at what the kindergarten through second grade building looks like, also known as Bethlehem. When you walk in, you go straight ahead and you head into our kindergarten classrooms. They're right next to each other. Heather Arredondo teaches in this classroom with her teacher aide, Melissa Lindley. It's a beautiful room. You can see how the ch children are spread out with six feet between each other. Their own bathroom over here in the corner. And they have an adjoining door to Karen Gately's classroom and her teacher aide, Sharon Brooks. They look right out to the Bethlehem build, uh, the, to the Bethel building, grades three through eight. And they also have a door that goes right out to the kindergarten playground out here. They also have a bathroom straight ahead there with the brown sign with the backpacker on it. And then we're gonna go out this door and we're gonna head back into the main hallway of, the, of Bethlehem and we're gonna turn right. And we're gonna go up the hallway here towards the first grade classrooms. This area is known as an ELA, an extended learning area. Look at the beautiful graphic of the rainforest there. A great place for the children to be able to sit. This is not designed for six feet social distancing right now. If you notice here in the hallway, we have these cute little footsteps that are spaced out actually long, longer than six foot social distancing to help the kids understand what that looks like. They also have a bathroom right off the way there. Here we head over to the first grade classrooms. We have over here, uh, Laura Grazia Rodriguez. She is our new first grade teacher and she has six foot social distancing with all of her students here and um, individualized uh, supplies. They also, like every classroom, they have their own sink and they are ready for the first day of school on Wednesday. Mackenzie Dooley, who last year was a third grade teacher and is now a first grade teacher, this is her classroom. Again, six foot social distancing. She is very eager to have her students um, here uh, for, the, uh, for the first day of school on Wednesday. Across the hallway from the first grade classrooms is a door where uh, Mrs. Fletcher, our Spanish teacher, teaches. And then we have a door that heads right out to the sidewalk on the eastern side of Bethlehem. As we go up the stairs, you can see all the space that we have here. It's incredible. We are very, very lucky to have a building like this along with Bethlehem, or along with Bethel, our 338 building, that really maximizes the space for our students. This is another extended learning area, a beautiful sunset. You can see how the floors are blue because this is second floor closer to the sky and the first floor is all with greens and browns closer to the earth. This is a religion classroom. Keep in mind that none of our specials will be taught in the individual classrooms. Rather, they will be taught in their home rooms. These are our second grade classrooms. Jessica Seifert teaches over here. This is her classroom. Again, there will be six foot social distancing between the students, they do not have the, the chairs spread out yet, but it will be spread out um, on the first day of school on Wednesday. Angela Bell, our second grade teacher, does have her tables in six foot social distancing right now. Every classroom has their own cubby for the students to be able to put their things in. And then so you see how um, Ms. Bell has actually labeled the, the drawers. So every child has a corresponding number and that's their own materials that they use. And likewise, she also has her own sink in the classroom as well. 
as we head down the hallway here, as we're heading west, we'll come to another classroom, Gail Bush, who are, is, is our academic support teacher for grades kindergarten through third grade. She teaches here. She teaches small numbers of students in this room, so she has a smaller classroom, very intimate. We have a teacher uh, collaboration area, a restroom, and here we have the girls' and boys' bathrooms. Boys over on this side, girls over on this side. We have the drinking fountain, so the drinking fountain is closed. We have communal sinks for the boys, communal sinks for the, for the girls. They have dispensers for soap, as well as um, paper towel dispenser. The boys have the same thing over here as well. And as we head over here, we head over to the computer lab. In normal times, this is where all students, kindergarten through eighth grade, will take their computer classes. And we have this big doorway, which is actually divided by a garage door, which is the lower school multipurpose room. When we have classes that need extra space, we'll be using this uh, room to maximize um, extra space that we might need in these times in which we have to deal with COVID. The last major room I'd like to show you is our library. I'm coming in from the second floor and look at this. This is an entry point for our slide. The slide was installed just a few days ago. And Melinda Boyd, our librarian, is very excited to get her library in order. She's been very patient with all of the boxes that we've been moving around. Here's a beautiful slide. I mean, the slide's really amazing. It has a cushioned um, surface to it on the floor there. Our library books. Again, Ms. Boyd has a lot to do in here to get things ready for the first day of school, but she's doing really, really well. And then lastly, we come through these doors. Again, we have these wonderful footprints that help us designate six foot social distancing for our students. And this is the boys and girls bathroom on the first floor. I imagine that mostly the first graders will be using this bathroom. Um, and um, also probably um, our kindergartners, just in case they um, need to use an extra bathroom um, other than the one that they already have in their, in their rooms. And then we have the elevator that takes people up and down, obviously. And we're going back out the same door that we came in. I hope that gave you a really good sense of what the uh, Bethlehem Academic Building looks like. I can't wait to actually share it with you in person. But I hope that you have a great weekend and that uh, we actually really uh, have a, um, a fantastic start to the school year. Bye-bye.